Oh, here we go again. Time for knuckleheads. I'm ready. Let's talk about them. Let's do it. You know, usually crimes committed at the front porch involve someone stealing a package. Yeah. Not dropping one off. Oh. A Clearwater homeowner was curious to know what type of large animal had defecated on top of a table Ew. at their front porch. So they reviewed their home security footage and were horrified to discover the animal was actually their next door neighbor. Ew. They were shocked to see 64-year-old Kenneth Clark Carlisle walking up their driveway, buck naked. He's then seen squatting on top of the glass table. <gasps> and, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Anyway, oh. he's, uh, before walking off, the homeowners called police and they arrested Carlisle on criminal mischief charges. He's being held in jail. He's also facing, facing several charges stemming from a December arrest. Oh, my. Yeah. He's not a, he's not a porch pirate. He's a, he's a porch poo rit. Oh, he's a, he's a poop, Gross. poop, well, poop pirate doesn't sound right. No, he's a porch poo, poo rit. Uh, trying to make a punchline out of something there. Yeah, I yeah, see. Just, that, it's like a number just two. Let that one down. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? A former Derby, Connecticut official is due in court on charges that he stole funds from a fraternal organization and used them to pay for porn. Oh, Six, 69 year old Ronald Colmo worked as both the Derby's fire commissioner and as public works director. Authorities say he'd siphoned off more than $150,000 wow. to watch an internet pornography and play the slot machines at Mohegan Sun Casino. Yeah. Well, he was oh. trying to make some of it back, maybe? I don't know. Yeah? Maybe, I don't know. Just pulling the handle on the old slot machine, so to speak. And a general manager of an Austin movie theater believes a real-life bat got into the showing of the new Batman movie as a yeah. prank. They believe it was a prank. The film had to be paused when the staff realized there's a real-life bat flying around the theater. Management <laughs> paused the movie and made multiple attempts to get the bat out, but those attempts were ultimately unsuccessful. They had to call Animal Control. The theater offered to give refunds, but a majority of the crowd opted to stay and watch the film, oh, bat and all. No, thank you. To ensure a prank like this doesn't occur again, they're going to be adding additional security and checking all bags upon guest entry, the manager said. Check it for bats now. Well, turn the light off. Has anybody heard of coronavirus? Turn the bat the light off. Bat labs and such. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? I don't know. Yeah. Nobody. Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more. Uh, just look on social media for Mel and Scott in the morning. That's right. And there we are. Hello. Good morning.